next comedian has a great head of hair. Please <laughs> welcome Paul Fidel. <laughs> Alright, so, I have an uncle, and he's a great guy and all, but he has a tendency to be pretty annoying. <laughs> um, he does martial arts, and when he gets back, his uniform, or gi, is drenched in sweat. I mean, and he smells himself, and he's just like, come here, smell me! And he's just like, no! <laughs> he, he does the same thing with food, like one time he had fish jerky, he tried it, this is absolutely nasty. Try it. <laughs> no. He does the same with books. He reads like a horrible book, like a Twilight. He doesn't like that kind of stuff. He closes it. This is a horrible book. She's seriously reading. <laughs> the same thing with movies. He finishes watching it, puts it back in case. Here, I'll lend it to you. Watch it. It's pretty good. Speaking of family, I have a little brother. His name is Zach. He's about uh, ten years old. He likes to try to stay up as late as I can, which normally ends up with him falling asleep on the couch around 9:30. <laughs> so um, it's up to me to wake him up and tell him it's a good time to go to bed. Um. So usually he's pretty confused when he's trying to sleep. I wake him up one time. He gets up. What? Zach is not usually in bed. Okay. What? He walks into the kitchen. Walks back into the living room, goes to the corner, looks at me and says, I can't find my bed. <laughs> so I take him by the shoulders, turn towards the little hallway you have, and say, you see that hallway? Go through it, take a right, take another right, you see your bed, go into the bed, put your sheets over your body, put your head onto the pillow, close your eyes, and you'll be asleep before you know it. Okay, he goes to bed, turn off the light. He's snoring within a matter of 30 seconds. <laughs> and um, this happens again the next night. He is he fell, he fell asleep on the floor with a little pillow. He loved this pillow. He got it for Christmas. He sleeps with it every, every time. So I don't know what he was dreaming of. I think something that has to do with school. So I would go, Zach, it's time to go to bed. He gets up, takes his pillow, takes an invisible pen, so starts writing on his pillow. Hands his pillow to me, and he's like, I've done my homework. <laughs> so I'm just thinking, okay, I'll roll with it. I take the pillow, flip it over, okay, you got a hundred. <laughs> okay, see that hallway? Go down the hallway. Take the pillow, take it back. So, put the sheets over your body, put your pillow, put your head on the pillow, Close your eyes, and be asleep before you know it. Okay. Goes to bed. Now, the best instance of this is, he falls asleep on the floor. I wake him up. Zach, it's time to go to bed. He gets up on his knees, looks up at the ceiling. How am I supposed to get up there? <laughs> so I go, okay. Zach, you see that door right there? <laughs> you go through it. There'll be another door to your left. Go through that one. Go down three stairs. You'll see a rope to your left. You see, you tie a knot in that rope, swing it above your head like a cowboy, throw it onto the roof, and climb up there. You'll see your bed, complete with your sheets and pillow. Get into the bed, put the sheets over your body, put the, your head on the pillow, close your eyes, you'll be asleep before you know it. <laughs> Just a couple days ago, I had a guidance class. Um, it's about drug and alcohol abuse. Suicide, bullying. Um, this isn't a how-to. <laughs> this teaches you how to prevent it. <laughs> so um, we just got finished with um, cyberbullying. So and then we were talking about different forms of verbal and emotional bullying. So she's looking at us, and she's like, "Okay, I got a perfect example. You ready for this? Okay, so." I'm inviting you all to a party, except for Mr. Stash, because I like kids more than adults. <laughs> so we're all just laughing. She's totally confused. She has no idea why we're all laughing. And I'm just shaking my head. She has no idea that she sounds like a complete pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and 
next thing you know, she's going to be offering us candy in her van. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>